Hi, welcome to On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway. Today I'm taking you back to the reign of Queen Mary I. For On This Day in Tudor History, the 17th of July 1555, antiquary, beekeeper, translator and poet Richard Carew was born at Anthony House, Torpoint in Cornwall. Carew was a member of the Elizabethan Society of Antiquaries and his work included his Survey of Cornwall, a county history. But let me tell you a bit more about this multi-talented Tudor chap. Richard Carew was the eldest son of Thomas Carew and his wife Elizabeth Edgecombe. When he was just eight years old, he inherited his father's estate following his father's death. Carew was educated at Christchurch, Oxford, where he was friends with historian and antiquary William Camden and poet Philip Sidney. And then he studied law at the Middle Temple, one of the four inns of the court in London. He taught himself Greek, Italian, Spanish, German and French. He married Juliana Arundel in his home county of Cornwall in 1577 and they went on to have ten children together. At his Cornish estate, Anthony House, Carew was a keen beekeeper and fisherman, but he managed to mix spending leisure time at home in the country with public office. He served as a justice of the peace, a burgess, bailiff, sheriff, deputy lieutenant, treasurer of the lieutenancy and colonel of the regiment in Cornwall between 1581 and 1597. Carew was also an intellectual and produced translations of famous Italian, Spanish and French works. It is also thought that he wrote the anonymously published poem A Herring's Tale. He was very interested in language and entomology and wrote The Excellency of the English Tongue. His interest in the English language led to him becoming involved in a dispute over whether the English language should assimilate foreign words or be pure. Others involved in this dispute included William Shakespeare, Thomas Nash, Edmund Spencer and Verstegen. Historian S. Mendick explains that Carew accepted Saxon as the natural language of England, but he was much more willing to recognise the contributions of foreign tongues and cultures than Verstegen was. In 1602, Carew published his two-volume county history, Survey of Cornwall, which was dedicated to Sir Walter Raleigh. Following its publication, Carew's health began to go downhill, and he lost much of his sight. He died at his home, Anthony House, in his study on the 6th of November 1620. He was laid to rest in the local parish church on the 7th of November in the crypt. Only five of his ten children outlived him, and he bequeathed his estate to his wife and his second son, Richard. Carew has been referred to as the Prince of Cornish Historians, and his survey of Cornwall has been reprinted on several occasions, the most recent being in 1953. I'll give you a link to read the 1769 edition online, which also includes his epistle concerning the excellency of the English tongue. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 17th of July 1555, Protestant martyrs Christopher Wade of Dartford and linen weaver Margaret or Marjorie Polly, a widow from Peppenbury in Tunbridge, were burnt at the stake for heresy. And you can find out all about them in last year's video, which I'll give you a link to. Thank you for joining me today. You can subscribe to this channel by clicking that button there. You can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live and you can leave a comment and give me a like. I'll be back tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.